four supersets planned. So to start, I'm just going to show you our first superset. So first one is going to be a single leg deadlift, either with one or two or no, no weights if you don't have any weights. So single leg deadlift, whatever arm is going down, that same leg is coming up. If you have two weights, you can hold both of them. If you only have one, you'll do one. And if you don't have any, then you'll tap an object in front of you. Single leg, whatever leg is going back, that same arm is reaching out and then switching at the half. And then that is going to be paired with a negative push-up. So on the floor, slow all the way down. One, two, three, all the way down. And then all the way up to the top. If not, a little easier, slow all the way down, coming all the way to the ground. And then easy on the way up, you can use those knees. And then easier than that if you grab a bench or a couch or a counter to do elevated push-ups on. So those are our first two exercises. So starting with that single leg deadlift, either weighted or body weight, ready? And start. So either body weight, if you're doing body weight, you're tapping an object in front of you. Same arm, same leg, reaching out. You have two dumbbells, hinge at the hips, and then come all the way up. Stand on that same leg until the half. Good, and last one. And stop. Good, all right, next is those push ups. Negative push ups, three seconds down, one second up, or going all the way down to the floor. And the easiest one is going to be elevated. Ready? And start. So, a couch, a bench, chair, countertop, whatever you have, making sure those shoulders are right over the wrist. Three seconds down. One second up. You don't have to go down all the way if you're working on that push up still. Just focus on nice, good positioning on that. Or you're on the floor, slow on the way down, nice and easy on the way up, and halfway. Good, Patty, I can't see you today. Good, and last one. And stop, good, all right. So now we're going back to that single leg deadlift. So same exercise again, single leg deadlift, either with weights or tapping an object in front of you. Ready? And start, so two weights or one or tapping in front, ready? Right into it. Think about leading with that back foot, keeping that chest open. Lead with the back foot and come up. Good, you can hold on to something for balance if you need to. That looks good, Christy, yep. Good, Christy's friend. There you go, I can see you, Patty. Good, and halfway, let's go ahead and switch legs now. Good, Jeremy, lead with the heel, that's it, good. There you go, Jeff, 10 more seconds. 
Good, and last one. And stop, good, all right. Back to those push-ups, either on the floor or on an elevated surface, ready. And start, remember we're going slow on the way down if we can. Nice and easy down, using those knees to come up if you need to. I'll go through the progressions. So again, hardest one is going to be slow on the way down. One second up, a little easier. Slow on the way down. I'm using those knees to help you up. And then the easiest one is going to be on an elevated surface. Doing regular push-ups. But if you feel comfortable, you can do the slow on the way down. One second up. And halfway. Christy? Yeah. No. 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 Ten more seconds. You got it. Oh, another friend to join us. Good. And last one. And stop. Good. All right. Third time, last time, back on that single leg deadlift again. Ready. And start. Remember, either tapping an object in front of you. If you don't have weights, if you have one weight, same arm, same leg. Or if you have two weights, using both of them, making them a little harder. Staying on the same leg until the half. Good, halfway. Christy, you got the whole clan there. I like it. Good. And go ahead and switch legs if you haven't already. Good, Jeremy, you got it. Gotta find that balance. That knee can be slightly bent, that right knee. Good, and 10 more seconds. Let's get those last few in. And stop. Good, all right. And last time on push-ups, one more time. Back to those negative push-ups. Three seconds down, one second up. And start. So three seconds down, one second up, or three seconds down and nice and easy up using those knees. Then easiest one is going to be elevated. So hands up on a table or whatever you have. Halfway. Good. Less than 30 seconds left of push-ups. Good. Almost there. Keeping those hips down, Jeremy. Good, Jeff. That looks good. Ten more seconds. Good. And last one. And stop. Good. All right. So, that was my first superset. Our next one. Our next two exercises, we're going to start with a goblet squat. So, depending on your weight, it's either one heavy weight to your chest, two lighter weights up by your shoulders, whatever you have. And we're adding two pulses at the bottom. So, one squat, pulse, pulse, up. If you don't have any weights, you can do this body weight. So, same thing, squat, pulse, pulse, up. So, squat plus two pulses. And then, that is going to be paired with shoulder press, pressing all the way up to the top, nice and easy on the way down, up to the top, nice and easy on the way down. If you have shoulder issues, you can do those tricep extensions. And again, if you don't have any weights, then you are gonna do standing T's to start. Your thumbs are gonna face forward and you're pulsing arms back. Think about squeezing those shoulders together, pulse. 
pulsing back. So those are our next two exercises. Starting with that squat with two pulses. Again, one heavy dumbbell tight to your chest or two lighter ones up to your chest. Ready? And start. Squat, pulse, pulse, up. Two pulses at the bottom, standing all the way up to the top. Good, again, if you don't have any weights, then you will do body weight. Pulse, pulse, all the way up. Halfway. Good, sitting those hips back, keeping those heels on the ground. Good, 10 more seconds. Good, those look good, keep it up. And last one. And stop, good, all right. Next one is that shoulder press. Again, pressing all the way up to the top. Nice and easy on the way down. If you have those shoulder issues, try those tricep extensions. So if that's bothering you, Jeff, do the tricep extensions. And then if you have no weight, standing T's, thumbs are pointed forward and you're pulsing back. Ready? And start. Get so arms are straight out in front of you, just like a T, chest level, pulsing back. Or you're doing that shoulder press. Pressing all the way up to the top. Nice and easy down. Good, or that tricep extension. If you only have one heavy weight, that's fine. You'll just stay on one side until the half. And halfway. Go ahead and switch if you're doing one-sided. Good, knees are slightly bent. Core is tight on this. So if you're pressing up, knees slightly bent, core tight, all the way up. 10 more seconds. Good, and last one. And stop, good, all right. Back to that squat again. Holding that weight to your chest, up by your shoulders, or doing body weight. Squatting all the way down, adding two pulses at the bottom. Ready? And start. So no matter where your weights are, squat, pulse, pulse, all the way up. Pulse, pulse, up. Good, so hold them out in front, Patty. That way they don't rest as much. There you go. Good. <laughs> Halfway. Good, almost there. Look at y'all. Such an active family, Christy. Good. Ten more seconds. Good, Jeremy, your dog's coming to help again. <laughs> Good, and last one, and stop, good, all right, back to that shoulder press, or standing T's, again, shoulder press can be with one or two, if you're doing standing T's, this time your thumbs are pointed back, pulsing, ready, and start, if you're doing body weight, thumbs pointed back, pulsing, if you're doing shoulder press, Knees are slightly bent, core is tight, so you don't want to be arched. Squeeze those abs, press them all the way up to the top, nice and easy on the way down. Good, or doing those tricep extensions with the weights. Good, thumbs are pointed back. Yep, just like. Good. 20 more seconds. So if you have if you're doing one weight, go ahead and switch. Good. 10 more seconds, just a few more. Pressing all the way up. 
Nice and easy on the way down. And last one. And stop. Good, all right. Last time on that squat. Last time on the superset. So squats again. Remember all the way down, two pulses. And then back up, ready? And start. One squat, two pulses, and then all the way up. What? Patty? There we go. I see you. <laughs> you got it. This is the last time you have to do this one. Good, and halfway. Good, Jeremy. There you go, Jeff. All right, almost 10 more seconds. Get those last few squats in. Good, Zimmerman family. Good, good squats. Good. And last one, one more, all the way down, two pulses. And stop. Good, all right, shoulder press. Last time, tricep extensions or tease. This time, if you're doing tease, your thumbs are gonna point down towards the ground, pulsing back. So thumbs pointed down, pulse back. And start. Good, or pressing all the way up, nice and easy on the way down, or those tricep extensions. Yep, thumbs are in line with your chest. Good. And halfway. Almost there. Good. Ten more seconds. Those last few in, last few. And last one. And stop. Good, all right. Next two exercises. We're gonna start with walking lunges. So weights by your side if they're heavy, up by your shoulders if they're light, or if you're just doing body weight, either way, walking lunges, switching legs every time. If you don't have space for walking lunges, then you're gonna do forward lunge, switching legs every time. And then that is gonna be paired with a hollow body. So, easiest one, starting on the floor, knees are bent, your shoulders are up, hands are down, and you're moving arms up and down. That's gonna be the easiest one. Or just holding a little harder, straightening legs out. Harder, straight arms above your head. Even harder, lowering your legs down. And then hardest one is gonna be rocking. So either, whichever hollow body you're doing, you just wanna make sure that low back is pressed into the ground. If that back comes off, you regress to an easier one. All right, so. Starting with the walking lunges. Ready? And start. Or the forward lunges, just depending on your space. Weights are by your side. If they're heavy, they're up by your shoulders. If they're light, Good, Jeremy. Try to go all the way through. Try not to stop in the middle. All the way through, all the way through. Halfway. Good. There you go. Good, Jeremy. Patty, I lost you. There she is. Good. Ten more seconds. This look good. And last one. And stop. Good. All right. Next one is that hollow body. So whichever one you're doing, we're holding it for a minute and just making sure that low back is squeezed into the ground. And 
start. So you can start easiest one, holding shoulders up, legs are up, knees are bent. That's easy, add the arms in. Remember, you're holding for a minute. Straighten legs out, lower them, bring arms above your head. And if that's still easy, then add the rock. Keeping that low back into the ground, even when you rock. Good, that's it, halfway. Good, hold on to it, hold on to it. Almost there, 10 more seconds. He's so helpful, Jeremy. Uh -huh. Good, and last one. And stop, good. All right, on those lunges again. Walking lunges or forward lunges. If knees bother you, anyway, you can do a reverse lunge. Sometimes that's a little better on the knees. Ready? And start walking lunges, switching legs every time, trying to get that knee down. Same for the forward lunge, switching legs every time, trying to get that knee down. Good, and halfway on that one. Good. How you feeling, Rick? Good, 10 more seconds on this one. You got it, Jeremy. Keep going, Jeff, keep going, Patty. Good, Christy. And last one, one more, all the way down. And stop, good, all right, back to that hollow body. Yep, going through the progressions, keeping that low back in, no matter what, that low back is down, ready? And start, yep, all the way up, holding. Good, Jeremy, good, Patty. There you go, Jeff. Good, rocking away, Rick, rocking away. Good, keeping those shoulders up, halfway. Good, you are almost there. 10 seconds left. Good, and last one. And stop, good, all right, third time. Walking lunges, last time on this one. One more time walking lunges, one more time hollow body, and then we've got one more superset for you. Ready? And start. Good, switching legs every time, trying to get that knee down. Either walking forward, or reverse lunge. Halfway, almost there. You got it, a few more. Good, Jeff, those look good. Ten seconds left, last few. Let's get one more on each leg. And last one. And stop, good, all right, on the hollow body, last time, ready, and start, so again, knees bent, low back squeezed in, moving the arms, most advanced is that hollow body rock, we're holding the hollow body, straight arms, straight legs, bring those legs up a little easier, arms down a little easier, Knees bent. Good. You just want to make sure that low back is squeezed in. 20 more seconds. Just a few more. Good. And last one. 
Hold it, hold it. Three, two, and done. Good, all right. Last exercise, last superset, I should say, of the day. So, if you have weights, we're doing snatch. If you don't have weights, you're doing chops. So, two weights or one weight, just depending on what you have. It's going to be a snatch, so hand you the hips. Pop the weights all the way up to the top. Notice the weights stay as close to my body as they can. And they're going straight up above my head. Nice and easy on the way down. You only have one weight, then you're going to do an alternating snatch all the way up, switching sides every time. And then, like I said, if you don't have weights, then you'll do chop. So clasping your hands together, chopping down as hard as you can. You can add a jump in that to make it a little harder. And then that is going to be paired with a plank row. So you can do this on the floor or on an elevated surface, just like the push-ups. You're going to be in that high plank position. If you can, you have two weights, if not just one. And you are alternating sides, pulling that weight to your chest. You just have one, you'll stay on the same side until the half. And again, this can be an elevated plank row. That'll be a little easier. And then if you don't have weights, you'll get in that high plank position, whether it be on the floor or on your box. And you are going to tap opposite hand to opposite hip, switching every time. All right. So starting with that snatch to start. Ready? And start either both weights or alternating. Yep, or doing the chops. Yep, if you're doing snatch with only one dumbbell, then you switch every time. Halfway. Or chopping. Ten more seconds. Then the last one. And stop. Good. All right. Next one is that plank row. Again, two weights. You're going to switch every time. One weight, you're staying on the same. Side and no weight, you're tapping opposite hand to hip. You can use same hand to same hip if that's too challenging. Ready? And start. So whatever weight you have. Try to keep those hips nice and steady. And last one. And stop. Good. All right. Back to the snatch or the chops. Two more rounds for each. Ready? And start. Snatch or chops. Snatch or chops. Good. Yep, that's it. And halfway, almost there. Good. Keep going. 10 more seconds, finish it out. Get those last few in. 
Good. You got it, Rick. Last one all the way up. And stop. Good. All right. On that plank row, remember switching sides every time, staying on the same side until the half or tapping opposite hand to hip. Ready. And start. Jeremy, where's the plank? No. Okay, keeping those hips down, Patty. Good, Jeff. That looks good. And halfway. Good, try and keep those hips nice and steady. Almost there. Good, 10 more seconds. Keep going, Patty. Good, keep going, Christy. Nice and easy on that. And stop. Good, all right. Last time, last time on the snatch or the chops. Ready. And start. Yep, so last time, one more time. Good, Patty. Yep, either alternating or all the way up or the chops. Good. It's our last superset of the day. Halfway. Go ahead and switch sides. If you're doing, never mind, you're alternating. Okay, keep going, keep going. All the way up, good. And 10 more seconds. Good, big chops, big chops, Christy, there you go. Yep, all the way up, one more time, Jeremy. Good, Patty, last time. Last time, Jeff. And stop, good, all right. Last exercise of the day. Plank row or plank taps. Ready? And start. You got it. Last one. Last one. Keeping those hips nice and steady. You don't want them turning too much. I'm going to try to keep them straight. That's good, Jeremy. Good, Jeff. Halfway, so if you're doing one arm, go ahead and switch to the other. Good. You are almost there. Good, in just 10 seconds. Good, come on, Rick. Last few, last few, ready? Good, and last one. All the way up, nice and easy down. And done. And y'all are finished. Good job.